Hi students, welcome back. Let us start. The direction of magnetic field is taken by convention that the field lines emerges from North Pole and merge at South Pole. But inside the magnet, the direction of lines is from its South Pole to its North Pole. Thus, magnetic field lines are closed curves. In the last class, during an activity, we have seen that an electric current through a metallic conductor produces a magnetic field around it. These are the topics will be covered during this session. Magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor. Magnetic field due to current through a straight conductor. Right hand thumb rule. Magnetic field due to current through a circular loop. Magnetic field due to a current in a solenoid. Force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. What determines the pattern of the magnetic field generated by current through a conductor? Does the pattern depends on the shape of the conductor? We shall study this with an activity. What happens to the deflection of the compass needle placed at a given point if the current in the copper wire is changed? To see this, vary the current in the circuit. We find that the deflection of the needle also changes. If the current is increased, the deflection also increases. The direction of magnetic field lines get reversed if the direction of current through the straight copper wire is reversed. Assume that this is the straight conductor. The magnetic field consists of concentric circles centered on the wire as you can see in this diet. This concentric circle represent the direction of magnetic field or field lines around the straight wire or straight conductor. The magnetic field is strongest near the wire. The strength of the field increases if the electric current is also increases. This diagram represents the deflection of needles around the current carrying conductor. So this is a straight conductor and these concentric circles indicating the magnetic field lines. A convenient way of finding the direction of magnetic field associated with a current carrying conductor is given by right hand thumb rule. Imagine that you are holding a current carrying straight conductor in your right hand such that the thumb points towards the direction of current then your fingers will wrap around the conductor the direction of the field lines of the magnetic field. I repeat this once again. Grip the wire with the right hand. The thumb is placed in the direction of electric current and the finger shows the direction of magnetic field. Next is flat circular coil. We have so far observed that the pattern of the magnetic field lines produced around a current carrying straight wire. Suppose this straight wire is bent in the form of a circular loop and a current is passed through it. How would the magnetic field lines look like? At every point of the current carrying circular loop, the concentric circles represent the magnetic field around it would become larger and larger as we move away from the wire. As you can see here in this diagram, this is a point we consider. The concentric circle represents the magnetic field at that point. As we move away from the wire, the concentric circle would become larger and larger. By the time we reach at the center of the circular loop, the arcs of the big circles would appear as straight lines like this. Every point on the wire carrying current would give rise to the magnetic field appearing straight lines at the center of the loop. By applying right hand thumb rule, it is easy to check every section of the wire contributes to the magnetic field lines in the same direction within the loop. So this is a magnetic field pattern generated by a flat coil. So this concentric circle represents the direction of magnetic field around the current carry conductor. And this is the plain view of this flat circular coil. We know that the magnetic field produced by a current carrying wire at a given point depends directly on the current passing through it. If there is a circular coil having n turns, the field produces n times as large as produced by a single turn. Next is a solenoid. What is a solenoid? 
A solenoid is a coil of wire carrying an electric current. So a coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped in the shape of a cylinder is called a solenoid. The pattern of the magnetic field lines around the current carrying solenoid is shown in figure. You can see here. Compare the pattern of the field with the magnetic field around a bar magnet. Do they look similar? Yes, they are similar. In fact, one end of a solenoid behave as a magnetic north pole while the other behave as a south pole. The field lines inside the solenoid are in the form of parallel straight lines. A strong magnetic field produced inside a solenoid can be used to magnetize a piece of magnetic material like soft iron when placed inside the coil. The magnet so formed is called an electromagnet. The strength of the field line increases with the electric current, the number of turns in the coil. This is the video representation of a solenoid. As you can see here, the magnetic field lines are concentric circle at this point and at the center of the circular loop, they appeared as straight lines. Next is right hand grip rule. What is that? Grip the coil with the right hand. The fingers are placed in the direction that electric current flows around the coil. The thumb points towards the north pole end of the coil. Thank you.